in this video we are going to discuss about decimal to octal conversion decimal means base value is 10 a decimal number is a combination of symbols from 0 to 9 so decimal number may contains symbols from 0 to 9 octal means base value is 8 octal means base value is 8 an octal number contains a combination of symbols from 0 to 7. So, an octal number may contain symbols from 0 to 7. If we want to convert decimal to binary number, then we have to divide the decimal number by 2. Here, our aim is we want to convert decimal to octal number. So, we need to divide the decimal number by 8. So, for understanding purpose, for remembering purpose, let, D, let us assume that D means division. So, if the source number is decimal number, then simply we need to perform the division operation. Okay, division operation. Here, two examples are given, two decimal numbers. So, let us solve the first example. So, 175 is the number. So, we have to divide this number by 8. So, 8 twos are 16. Next, 1. 8 ones are 1. So, 15 minus 8 means 7. So, 21 is the quotient, 7 is the remainder. So, again divide the number by 8. So, 8 twos are 16. So, 21 minus 16 means 5. So, how long we have to repeat the process? We have to repeat the process till we get quotient as 0. So, again divide the number by 8. 8 zeros are 8. So, now the quotient is 0. Initially, we got 21 as the quotient. Next to 2 as the quotient. Now, 0 is the quotient. Whereas, the remainder is 2. So, now we can start the process. And the resultant octal number must be from bottom to top. So, we have to take the result as from bottom to top. So, what is the number? 257 by 257 by 8. 257 by 8. So, this is the corresponding octal number for this decimal number. So, now let us solve the second problem. Here we have decimal number as well as we have integer part as well as fractional part also. So, first let us focus on the initial integer part. So, here what is the integer part? 275 is the integer part. So, simply we need to perform the division operation till we get quotient as 0. So, 8, 8 3s are 24, 8 3s are 24, next to 3, uh, 8 4s are 32. So, 35 minus 32 means 3. So, 8 3s are 24. Uh, next to 3, 8 4s are 32. Next, 8 4s are 32. 34 minus 32 means 2. So, now the quotient is 4, whereas the remainder is 2. Once again, perform the division operation with 8. 8 zeros are 8. So, 0 minus what is the remainder? No, 4 is the remainder. 8, 4. 8, 4. So, 8 zeros are zeros. 8 zeros are 0. 4 minus 0 means 4. So, 0 is the quotient, 4 is the remainder. So, now we can start the process. Okay. And what is the result now? Result means we have to take from bottom to top. So, bottom to top. Okay. So, 4, 2, 3. 4, 2, 3 dot. Next, uh, we need to calculate for 0 0.4. So, 0 0.4 after dot we have some digits. So, it is fractional part. If it is fractional part, then we have to multiply the number by 8. So, let us erase this portion. So, we need to multiply the fractional part by 8. So, what is the fractional part here? 0 0.4. So, 0 0.4 into, we need to perform multiplication operation. Into 8 is equal to, what is the result? 8 fourths are 32. So, 3.2. In 3.2, what is the integer part? 3 is the integer part. So, we have to write that 3. So, after writing 3, then this integer part will become 0. Why? Because integer part is already taken from floating point number. So, this is the integer part we have written. So, after taking 3, now it will become 0. So, 0 0.2 into 8. So, 0 0.2 into 8 means 1.6. In 1.6, what is the integer part? 1 is the integer part. So, let us write that one here. So, now, the number will become 0 0.6. So, 0 0.6 into 2. So, it will become 1 point, I am sorry, 0 0.6 into 8. So, 0 0.6 into 8 means what? 
So likewise, we have to repeat the process. Now after taking 4, the number will become 0, 0 0.8. So likewise, we have to repeat the process until we get 0 or 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, etc. like 0 0.09. But here there is a no possibility to get 0, 0.0 numbers. Okay. So that's why uh, we need to uh, repeat the process till we get an accuracy of 3 or uh, 4 points. Okay. So here the accuracy is nothing but let us take accuracy as 3 points. Okay. Here for the fractional part, we have to take the number from top to bottom. For the fractional part, we have to take the number from digits from top to bottom. So first we need to write 3. Next we need to write 1. Next we need to write 4. So this is the corresponding octal number for this decimal number. Here we have considered only 3 points. Suppose if it is an objective question multiple choice questions then depending upon the answer we have to perform the repetition after dot if, if there are five decimal points after dot if there are five digits then we have to repeat for two more steps okay so this is about decimal to octal conversion